Hunter pets have been reworked. Not necessarily a nerf, but they have been reworked, and Scorpion is no longer your BIS pet. So today I'm going to break down what are the best pets for you, what are the strongest builds you're actually going to be running, how you can also feed, tame, train your pet, and make them learn the abilities you need to know. And also, guys, just be aware, pets are pretty amazing. So this is going to be your ultimate pet guide for Season of Discovery now updated. Now, just as a reference, I'm going to show you, if you are using Kill Command, how insanely powerful a Wind Serpent is right now. This is just a quick breakdown at the beginning. Look at the damage I'm going to do right now. 291 damage, 189 damage. Instantly, my pet just deleted that mob, which is a level 19, so a little bit lower. But realistically that was that's a ton of damage yes that's right wind serpents are probably your best pet especially if you're playing a beast mastery build which is the build i'm doing with extra 20 percent damage and another 50 percent from kill actually from beast mastery and wind serpents gain the most if you are using the kill command rune if you're not using the kill command rune and you are playing another build or if these ever get nerfed the other pets we're going to use are cats or or raptors that's right cats or raptors are the next best pets for you to run cats i personally very much prefer cats with the attack speed 2.0 they hit a lot harder and then they are just chonking things down and you can get one from the runes of mysteria as you get the invisible kitty right here the ghost cat right now and you can see i'm now using the ghost cat and i will bring it over here to show you guys how much damage it does if you're using a cat or a raptor Raptor, make sure to teach it claw and bite both rank four claw and bite rank four and i'll show you guys the damage right now from this pet just as it deletes this mob right now look at that just absolutely deleted pets are still doing a ton of damage that was 143 dps from my pet without crits and the reason why i would go a cat or raptor if i was running a marksman build which would be four or five points here five points here one point into aim shot and then grab the improved aspect of the hawk now that you can use aspect of the hawk and lion at the same time the reason why i would do that is because you don't have kill command which is why you want a wind serpent again so if you get a wind serpent you are going to want to tame one like the one i have named wasty pawnee it is down in the southern barrens if we're looking here it's in the southern barrens it is a red wind serpent already level 25 it is a rare ish spawn but not really it spawns back and forth all the time and this guy comes with rank three of lightning breath you don't need to teach it bite you can also get a wind serpent from thousand needles down here in thousand needles you can also get a wind serpent there for it to learn bite rank four and bites or claw rank four for your cats and raptors what you need to do is train or tame a pet that already has those abilities and then you need to use those abilities on the new pet literally this is like the system use the ability on the new pet until you yourself learn how to teach it so with your beast training you will learn how to teach things like lightning breath or anything else one of them is learned right here you can get the bears the elder bears in ashenville right here if you tame one of these level 25s it will come with rank four of claw and bite if you want you can go into the other just across to the eastern kingdoms head into hills brad foothills and right around at durnhold keep right here there are spiders that have rank four of bite so learn both of these and then teach it to your main pet and to learn pet abilities you need to make sure your pet has training points you can't see it because i'm i'm covering it let me hide my face training points you can see i haven't used all of the training points on this pet to give them resistances which you gain from gaining loyalty levels on your pet well to gain loyalty levels all you need to do is keep your pet happy and keep your pet around you that's pretty much it you can use your pet go into some dungeons if you want and help maybe friends farm some gear and you'll gain loyalty points but really it's just about keeping your pet happy the reason let's break down why a wind serpent over a cat or raptor when you are using kill command is because the rework for pets is that the damage you do with focus or how much focus and ability costs you can see lightning breath in the bottom right of the corner costs 50 
safety focus, the attack power you gain from that is scaling accordingly to the focused cost. If I go into this math, actually, Wind Serpent will do 180 damage with its normal ability, which is a 50, 50 focus cost. Damage per focus, it's about 3.6 damage per focus. So it's the most efficient already. And Bite is the, the closest. It costs 35 energy or focus, and it does an average of 3.4 basically damage per focus. The big difference though, is when you use kill command, the next three attacks are doing 60% extra damage, 40% extra damage, and 20% extra damage. Because of that, the, if you hit harder with those three attacks, your first kill command will do 108 more damage. So you'll basically be doing 288 damage, and that's not even a crit. So from all three kill commands, you get 216 extra damage to your pet's abilities from having the kill command rune, as opposed to if you are using claw and bite. Technically, claw would get 84 and bite would get 144, but bite is a 10 second cooldown. So you would have the first bite or one bite, get the 60% from it, and then claw would get the second two, meaning you get 72, 28, and 14. On average, this would average out to about 114 extra damage from kill command instead of 216. So that's the math on why as a BM hunter right now, Wind Serpent is the best, but all of these pets are absolutely deleting people still. And I will have an upload of a full Warsong Gold because it was just really fun. Just me going 57 and two and using my pet. And weapon speed for those cats or raptors doesn't really matter. Having a faster weapon speed only makes your, your pet hit faster, which used to matter when you have the flurry ta talent or frenzy. Basically this means that Whenever you crit, your your pet's attacks are 30% faster. And if you have a fast weapon speed, you're hitting faster. So your, your pet is like a 1.0 weapon or attack. It's hitting faster, more chances to crit, which then eventually gives you 100% uptime of this. The only reason it's better now, potentially to have a fast cat, would be for PVP because you would hit faster. But in PVP, I would just always use a wind serpent. It's just absolutely insane. Thanks for watching, guys. That's pretty much everything you need to know about pets right now and i would play bm builds in any of the longer fights and for a short fight or if you have really good gear and you are in a very good raid so it's not a pug i would run marksman personally i would absolutely run marksman you will be able to do definitely more damage if the kill times are fast enough. So be able to test these things out for yourselves. If you want more updates on Hunter, I might do a guide on the Hunter rotation for Marksman very soon. If you are interested in that or any of my weak auras UI or anything else, make sure to subscribe to the channel, come join the Discord. And lastly, I wanna say thank you guys for all of the support lately. Like this channel is doing so well right now. We are above 80,000 subscribers. We're on our way towards the 100K. I love you guys. Thank you. I'm gonna to try to keep you updated on everything Season of Discovery and beyond.